Ngayon umaga po sa inyong lahat. Isa sa mga fascinating na kwento sa Old Testament ay ito po yung naridig natin sa first reading. A story about Prophet Elijah. A contest between Prophet Elijah and the prophets or the priests of Baal. A contest of faith between the true God of Israel and the God of the pagans. Very interesting po ito at saka very important. Napaka-importante po yung question ni Elijah. Hindi lang sa mga Israelites, kundi sa ating lahat. We need to choose whom to worship. Kasi yung itong contest between Elijah and the prophets of Baal, the priests of Baal, is a challenge sa ating lahat to, to the Israelites. Whom do you worship? Sa ating buhay, importante po ito. Sino po ba ang sinasamba natin? Whom do we worship? Nakakatuwa. Dahil sure na sure si Prophet Elijah na ang Diyos, ang ating Panginoon ay tunay at totoo, minamak niya itong mga pari, mga priests, prophets of Baal. Sige nga, tawagin niyo ang iyong Diyos. Baka tulog pa yan. Minsan, ganun din tayo. Because we worship the wrong God. Minsan, we priorit prioritize in the wrong God. Siguro, yung mga gods natin, mga Diyos-Diyosa natin, yung wealth, yung pleasure, yung beauty, all the material things, naakala natin, ito yung mga tunay na Diyos. Even the things we believe, yung mga ideologies natin. Kaya sa first reading, kina-challenge tayo, whom do we worship? Baka, the God whom we worship is the wrong one. The thing na akala natin ay tunay at totoo, ay mali. Kaya, we ask ourselves sa ating buhay, do we truly worship the wrong God or the right God? So this question of worship, do we really have the right worship? Sino po ba ang sinasamba natin sa ating buhay? Now, in our gospel, Jesus came to tell us that He is the true God. He is the fulfillment of the laws and the prophets. So once again, we are being challenged. Sa history of the Israelites sa Old Testament, yung pinaka-core message is the right worship. All the prophets to lead the Israelites, Moses, to bring the Israelites out of the slavery in Egypt. So what's really the core message of this? For the Israelites to have the right worship. For the Israelites to worship the true God. Again, sa other prophets sa Old Testament, the same thing, the same message. Do the Israelites worship the true God? 
So New Testament, the same thing. Do we worship the true God? Ngayon din po, sa ating generation, the same thing, the same question is being asked of us. Do we worship the true God? And Jesus came to tell us that He is the true God whom we should worship. He is the fulfillment of the laws and the prophets. Now, if Jesus is the true God whom we should worship, if we claim that we love Jesus, so the next thing that we have to do, ano po yan? If we claim that we love Jesus, if we claim that we are Christians, then follow His commandments. Kaya sa ni Jesus, if you love me, follow my commandments. Fulfill my commandments. Live out as true Christians. Kaya po, ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, we are being challenged. Marami nang sabi na, I'm a Catholic, but, yan. Katoliko ako, pero, yan, may mga blah, blah, blah. Be careful, we might claim ourselves as Catholics, but we are worshiping the wrong gods, wrong ideologies. If we are true Catholics, if we are true Christians, followers of Christ, then we have to follow all the things that our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us, all His commandments. Because this is what we're, this is what is going to bring us true happiness, true joy in our lives. Because worshiping Christ, the true God, will bring us true happiness. Because Christ, because God, as our Creator, knows what's the best for us. Sa so, ating mga dasal, in all our prayers, humingi tayo ng directions from God, humingi tayo ng answers from God for all the problems that we are facing, solutions to all our problems. We ask God, Tama po yan. We come closer to God and only to God we ask for answers, for solutions. Because only God can provide us the true, the right answer. Because He is our Creator. And as a Creator, alam niya po, He knows what's the best for us. So once again, we are being reminded, if we love Christ, Follow His commandments. Once again, we are being challenged. Tama pa ba ang worship natin? Do we worship the right God? Do we have the right kind of worship? Sino pa ba ang sinasamba natin sa ating buhay? Who is the priority in our lives? Then if you put Jesus above all things, then we know that true happiness, true joy will come our way, even though it's difficult. And, and yes, it's always difficult. We are always be, being challenged. We will become the signs of, of contradictions. I mean, son, when we stand for the truth, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be popular. But precisely, that's the point. As long as we stand for the truth, as long as we speak the truth, if, as long as we know that we worship the right God, we are walking on the right path. Because even though it's difficult, even though we have to carry our crosses, we will arrive at the right destination. Even though we will be wounded, we will be bruised by carrying our cross. But we will arrive at the Mount of Salvation the Mount of Calvary, safely, triumphantly, because all this time we have journeyed with Jesus, the one true God.